Hi Saints, I'm gonna put set this down for a minute. This is my camera. I have to talk to you about something and I've addressed it briefly in a prior video. But um, it was on my end times deliverance channel, the old one that was shut down or by false flagging and now it's reactivated. So some of you didn't get to see that video. This is regarding a topic if um, Obama is the Antichrist. Now, you have people putting out videos, and I'm going to give you an example, a false prophet by the name of Bold Soldier for Christ. Uh, I went to him privately and I haven't gotten a response. He put up a video saying that the Lord Jesus Christ sent him a dream saying that um, oh, it was a dream he put up like a few days ago. I think he said something about Russia and China ushering the New World Order and that Obama's supposed to lead the New World Order. So he's implying in that video, if you read between the lines, he's implying that Obama's the Antichrist, that Jesus Christ told him that. Now, I went to the Lord directly, and um, I asked the Father if he revealed that to him. And I was taken to the scripture, I believe in 2 Thessalonians, that says, uh, the Antichrist will be revealed at the Temple Mount. He's going to declare himself a God, and that's after the Daniel 9, 27 prophecy is fulfilled. Now, I heard Jesus tell me that he never sent this bold soldier for Christ, that he did not reveal that to him, that he is divinating from his heart, and that he doesn't know it, but I mean, both soldiers for Christ sadly believes he's hearing from God, but he's hearing from a demon. He's hearing from a divination spirit, a very high-ranking one. So, um, I went to two different brothers and sisters in Christ. Remember, the Bible says that two testimonies establishes a complete testimony. So I had them look at Bold Soldier for Christ's video. I went to a sister in Christ that she works with me at work. And then I went to a brother in Christ who I sometimes see and shout right. He's a believer in Christ as well. And these are two people that do not know each other. So I said, what do they think on the video? And they both told me, again, they don't know each other, that right away, they said, that man's a false prophet. The you know, bold soldier for Christ is a false prophet. God never told them that. Because in the Bible it says that when the Antichrist is going to be revealed, meaning after the Daniel 9, 27 prophecy is fulfilled. He's going to reveal himself and he's going to be um, worshipped as God. Even though he's not God, he's going to declare himself to be a God. You know, talking about the beast. So, I went to these two different people, these individuals, and uh, they also mentioned to me that God is not going to reveal to a mere man something that important about who is the Antichrist. When a man assumes God's going to tell him something that pivotal, it's like he's exalting himself above all mankind. And in my opinion, above the angels. Because God is going to reveal only, and, 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 and again, Amos chapter 3 verse 7 says God's not going to do anything until he reveals what he's going to, until, without, he's not going to plan anything without revealing a secret to the prophets first. Let me say something. I'm going to explain what that verse means, okay? God is not going to, re God is only going to reveal to you what he's going to reveal, what he feels you should know. Think about Acts chapter 1, I think verse 7, it says that, um, it's not for man to know the season of things, okay, that God has, which God has control over and has authority over and has in, in his power to obviously, again, control it. That's under God's total control. It's not for man to know the season of things. Certain things man can't know the seasons of. Only a few God will allow you to know. So that goes with Amos chapter 3 verse 7. Those things that God wants his true servants to know he will not plan until his servants warn about that particular warning that God feels you as a servant of God should know. Once you warn about it and the masses do not listen, 
then God will make that prophecy come to pass. Think about what happened with Nebuchadnezzar. Um, with Nebuchadnezzar, God sent his prophet to Nebuchadnezzar. I believe it was prophet Daniel, if I'm not mistaken. And he said to him to warn him. Basically, Nebuchadnezzar um, had a dream that he was thrown out into the wilderness for seven years. Daniel interpreted the dream for Nebuchadnezzar. Basically saying, if you don't acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord of all, as God, and give glory to God, not yourself, and stop worshiping false gods, you're going to be thrown out into the woods for seven years. You're going to be tried, refined, and I'm paraphrasing here, ladies and gentlemen. And then when he, if he acknowledges his God as Lord of all, he will be, his king will be, his kingdom, Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom will be restored to him, and he'll have more than what he had before. Okay? So... God told Daniel, God told Nebuchadnezzar the dream, right? So God used Daniel to interpret the dream and prophesy to, I'm sorry, God used, yeah, Daniel to, to uh, interpret the dream and prophesy to King Nebuchadnezzar what the dream meant. So God revealed to his servant Daniel through that dream what the prophecy was, what he was going to do. And God wasn't going to make a move and plan anything you know, until Daniel, number one, warned Nebuchadnezzar, and God was going to watch and see if Nebuchadnezzar was going to comply or not. And if, Nebuch if Nebuchadnezzar, or Nebuchadnezzar applied or complied with what God said, which means that prophecy that God said about Nebuchadnezzar being into the woods doesn't have to come to pass. But if Nebuchadnezzar doesn't listen, it will come to pass. So God was watching, Nebuchadnezzar didn't listen, and then God planned and made the dream come to pass. That's what Amos chapter 3 verse 7 means. It doesn't mean you're going to know every secret God has. He's only going to tell you what he feels you should know. And one of the and I'm going to tell you right now, the Lord Jesus Christ is not going to tell mankind something very pivotal in Bible prophecy like when the Antichrist is coming. So you see how I use the word of God to test his bold soldier for Christ's fruits. He is a false prophet, and I'm not the only one that exposed him. Other people have warned you people about him. Okay? I'm just telling you he's a false prophet. And this is something you guys need to go to God about and ask. But this is what I was shown. I went as far as talking to two different believers in Christ, two strong people in the Lord. And then I used the word of God, and then I prayed to God. Well, first I prayed to God. And God told me he never sent them. Then God is amazing because God had me contact two different people. Those two different people, okay, said that this person right away, they said both soldier for Christ is a false prophet because God's never going to tell them what the Antichrist is. And they brought up 2 Thessalonians. They brought up uh, Acts chapter 1 verse 7, I think it is, that talks about God will, God, um, it's not for man to know the seasons that God has control over. In other words, God will only let you know certain things, not all things. And then Amos chapter 3 verse 7, God doesn't do anything without telling his servants the prophets first. So that's another way how you can test a prophet if they're from God. If they tell you a prediction and it doesn't come to pass, that means that God never spoke to that false prophet. That means that that person never was sent by God. But if there's a true prophet in the crowd... And that prediction comes to pass. That means that God spoke to that prophet and told him to warn the masses. And if the masses doesn't listen, this is what's going to happen. If the masses listens, this is what can happen. Prophecies can be can have good news, bad news, warnings, you name it. So these two people right away knew he wasn't false. I mean that he was a false prophet. I'm sorry that this bold soldier is a false prophet because they pray to God themselves, and then I pray to God. And then I use the word of God and what this person is saying, bold soldier, about God telling him who the Antichrist is. Because you know that the Bible says that the Antichrist is supposed to um, rule for a time. He's supposed to usher in, he's supposed to rule the new world order for a time. The Daniel 9.27 prophecy ushers in the seven year tribulation. The, the, um, the, the beast, which is the Antichrist, is going to rule for a time. So if he's saying that Obama's leading the New World Order, that the Lord told him that, that means he's telling you people that Obama's the Antichrist. You need to wake up because Obama, we don't know if he's the Antichrist. I don't know if he's the Antichrist. I believe he's one of the dark kings and he's going to play a role in Bible prophecy. But I don't know if he's the Antichrist and I'm definitely not going to preach that to you people and tell you people that he's the Antichrist when I don't even know. I don't know. Does he fit 
fit the characteristics, because I think that there's 19 of them, he fits it, most of them, but there's other, other leaders that fit it too. Putin fits it. The North Korean leader fits it. The, re, the re, leader of the king of Saudi Arabia fits it. The president of Turkey fits it. You're going to say they're the Antichrist? They have an Antichrist spirit. But they're not the Antichrist. I don't, I don't believe in my opinion. The Antichrist hasn't been revealed. Do I believe that the Antichrist is among us? Absolutely. But I'm not going to tell you people that Obama is the Antichrist. You got a bunch of false prophets telling you people Obama is the Antichrist. And they don't even know that. I don't know that. That's Bible prophecy. That's something that the Lord is going to keep to himself. He's not going to tell a mere man something that important. That's huge. That is not just huge. That's humongous. That is like a pivotal step. One huge step closer to Jesus Christ coming. The Antichrist is supposed to be revealed sometime during the tribulation. If you look at the scriptures and you read it. They have some other doctrine going around saying that Muhammad, with Muhammad, the false prophet of the of Islam, the child rapist, the wife beater, that he was uh, mentioned in the Book of Solomon and what else? In the first, New Testament. I looked over the entire New Testament of the Bible, and I and I discerned with the Holy Spirit he is not mentioned anywhere. And I don't give. I don't care what you scholars say. Because as far as I'm concerned, you scholars and you so-called rabbis that say that Muhammad is mentioned in the New Testament, you are Satan. That's another antichrist spirit. I went straight to God. I don't care how many scholars come at me. I'm going to Jesus Christ. I'm not seeking man's knowledge. That's another doctrine that's going around. Muhammad is not in the Bible anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Nowhere. Muhammad is part of the lineage of Ishmael. If you learn your Bibles, ladies and gentlemen, your scriptures, you will know that Palestine is how Islam came about. Israel is Christianity. It's, see, it's Christianity. It's, it's the lineage of Christ. David. David was born in Israel. Let's go back a little bit in the book of Genesis when Rebecca had a, the Lord told her that she had two nations in her womb. She had Isaac. I mean, I want to say she had Jake. I gotta look at. I'm gonna look at the word. I believe she had Jacob and um, Esau. Jacob and Esau. I believe she had in her womb. Esau is the Edomites. They represent Islam. That's what. That's the root of Islam. Jacob is Judah, Israel, Jesus Christ, Christianity. Where Christianity's roots come from. Okay? And just as Israel has 12 tribes of Israel, there's 12 counterfeit tribes of Palestine. The 12 princes. Read up the word of God. It's in there. It's all in the book of Genesis. I'm reading the book of Genesis again as we speak. Bahamas is not mentioned in the Old Testament, ladies and gentlemen. Not even in the New so those scholars are lying to you. It's just a tool of Satan to try to get you to come away from God, the true God, Jesus Christ, and it's an attack on the Word of God. I have not seen that name anywhere in the Old or New Testament. And I read the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, from cover to cover, and I'm reading it again. I'm not going to rely on some scholar what they say, or because they say it's right. I don't care what they